Okay, in today's video, we are going to cover uh, how to manually add a commission into Affiliate Royale. So uh, anytime a transaction happens in MemberPress, uh, it also records a transaction here in um, Affiliate Royale, and then it will track you know, whatever the commission was for that sale. Now there's a few use cases where you might want to track a commission manually. Uh, for example, let's say um, an affiliate referred a user, but the user never clicked the affiliate link or whatever. And so a commission never got tracked and then the affiliate reaches out to you or maybe even the user reaches out to you and says, hey, this should have been a, a commissioned referral here. And so in that case, you'd need to just do it manually and so we're going to show how to do that from MemberPress today. So I'm going to go to MemberPress transactions here. Okay, and we're going to just pretend that this transaction right here should have been commissioned, um, but wasn't. So what you want to do is copy the ID of the transaction here that's in the transaction column. Uh, you'll see this ID column. And uh, so I'm going to copy that ID. And then in Affiliate Royale, we're going to add a new transaction here. And you're going to type in the name of the affiliate. And in this case, I'm just going to use uh, test this test affiliate user here. And then if you know the customer's name, so in this case, I don't have a customer name, so I'm going to leave it blank. But if you know the customer's name, you can put it in here. The customer is the person that made the purchase. And then the product would be the membership that they purchased. So I'm just going to copy that here, membership two, and I'll paste it in here. And then the unique order ID is where you'll, where you'll put in that transaction ID from MemberPress. So this one was 2388. And then you want to put in the amount of the sale, which in this case was $20 from MemberPress. So I'm just going to throw a two in the front of this. And then we haven't issued any refunds. We want to go ahead and have the commission based on this $20 amount. So and if there was taxes in MemberPress, you'd want to be sure to use the net amount rather than the total, as you only want to pay commissions on the subtotal here. So in this case, there was no taxes, so it's $20 either way. But uh, say there had been $10 in taxes, it would have been a $30 total, but we still only want to pay commission on the $20. So I'm putting the $20 in here. I'm going to click Create. Okay, and now if we click on Transactions, again here in Affiliate Royale, we can see the invoice number from uh, MemberPress. We can see the membership, which was purchased. We can see the amount, and then we can see the commission, which is a 10% commission in my settings. So we got $2 commission. And... Uh, if you need to change a commission, you can click the edit button here. And you can edit commission amounts. Um, I'm not going to edit anything, but just be aware you do have this option to come in here and edit commission amounts. And also you can click this info button here to get just a quick overview of what the commission structure looked like uh, on this payout here. So. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team uh, through uh, memberpress.com, and we'd be happy to help.